Foremost, I would like to thank the Library Advisory Board for selecting me as a recipient of this award. Secondly, I would like to thank Dr. Anthony and Dr. Nicole Mulvey for their consistent support and guidance throughout this process. In terms of my study, language acquisition is a complex process and many factors can influence language development. Pragmatic language, often referred to as social skills, can be described as using language to communicate during social interactions. Many cognitive skills influence pragmatic language development, including attention. So attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, is a commonly diagnosed disorder among school-aged children and is characterized by difficulty attending and frequent impulsivity. The characteristics associated with ADHD can negatively affect the social skills of a person diagnosed with ADHD. Thus, children diagnosed with ADHD often have a significantly harder time using and understanding those foundational social skills. Children with social communication deficits often demonstrate difficulties in understanding and using both verbal and nonverbal social communication skills needed for social reciprocity. Differences in the way individuals demonstrating social communication deficits interact with others can be apparent through things like poor eye contact, closed off or inattentive body language, and or lack of gestures to share information. Verbally, these children may not respond to social overtures or make social bids of their own to engage with their communication partner. Children with ADHD are also at an increased risk of social language deficits due to the role attention and appropriate impulse control plays in developing those age-appropriate social exchanges and reciprocity. So the purpose of my study was to examine the patterns of social communication in children with ADHD through social pragmatic language sampling. More specifically, the study investigated the use of nonverbal and verbal social communication behaviors during conversation. This was measured through specific gesture usage, mean length of utterance, and social bid response patterns. Frequency of common ADHD characteristics, including fidgeting and interruptions, were also measured to, de to determine the impact they have on communication. Results from the data analysis reveal that school-aged children diagnosed with ADHD have difficulty using nonverbal social communication skills, like gestures, in an expected way. To help improve these de deficits, it is being suggested that speech-language pathologists need to consider the use of nonverbal social communication skills, gestures, in conversation. More specifically, teaching how to use gestures to enhance the meaning of verbal communication. However, for children who are using gestures, learning how to increase use of more meaningful gestures to convey verbal information would be beneficial as well. Additionally, this population has difficulty formulating language specific to social bids. To help improve these deficits, it is being suggested that speech-language pathologists also work with this population to focus on formulating language to help increase the success and social reciprocity for these children as they communicate with their same age peers. If you have any more questions, I will also be at the poster presentations following this presentation. Thank you.